Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Last time we spent a lot of time just sort of reading stuff in the command center of uh, Rykad Minoris. I believe it was, yeah, Minoris. And um, we leveled up. That leveling up takes a while in this game because I don't know the talents very well. So I have to reread them over and over again to make sure I'm picking the things that I want the most. But uh, yeah, we're here on, we're still on Rykad Minoris. We're on, oh, what did they call this place? Electrodome. We're just going to call it the Electrodome. Some sacred place to the uh, uh, Mechanicus people. Pascal's people. So that's why we are here. Oh, here we go. Electro Electrodynamic Cenobium. Right. And these guys said they'd con they'd uh, they'd uh, secure the landing pad. So we'll let them do that as we, uh, you know, do a quick look around. For loot. Sweet, sweet loot. The world trembles beneath my feet. Got an athletics check here. <laughs> Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Where you just knock it down. <laughs> you are pretty impressive, my friend. Frag grenade and a med kit. I'll take both of those. Um, how are we doing on the stuff? Okay, yeah, we need more grenades. Um, frag gas grenade. You need another grenade as well. We still have flame grenade. You need more med kits. Take the take the big one too. You're good. You're good. You are not good. You need another grenade. There we go. The okay. World will bow. So this way's blocked. It looks like. Predictable. Judging by the fact that this that the pieces are molten at the edges. The statue was destroyed with fire from a multi-laser turret of the type that is mounted on landing force shuttles. Hmm. Got myself a nice sour beer tonight. It's very tasty. Awareness. The premonition runs true. Judging by the dead people's equipment, they were the same wardens the governor sent to the monastery's aid. Hmm. Intriguing. They didn't aid very much, it doesn't seem. What's this? Ruinous favor prevails. Lay people unworthy of entering the hollowed cenobium humbly said their prayers next to the to this com computational altar. Okay. Wonder Powers if I would have been considered worthy. Alright, up we go. Like all these like uh ribbons tied or stamped to the wall. Let's seize the opportunity. Or we can open the gate. I guess that's what we want to do. Open the gate. The Benharic hymn awakens the gate's latching mechanism. Good. Are we? What's up with our formation right now? It's not how it should be. You guys need to switch. There we go. And actually, I think we want you guys to switch too. Yeah. There we go. Electrodynamic Cenobium. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of electricity to deal with in here. Just jamming out to the song. Okay. We got more dead people. Always nice. The heretics were killed swiftly and ruthlessly. They never had time to reach for their weapons. Okay, well, uh, Pascal, can you, um, tell whatever killed the cultists to not kill us? That'd be great. Look at all these candles. Those are massive candles. Glory be to the current... Yeah, glory be to the current of the motive force. May it do may its dual set light shine in our new spheric cor coronas. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> may its vitality nourish our augments. May its purity wash over our, impur our imperatives and ingrams. You can just say, may the machine cleanse us or something, man. You don't gotta use all those words. Come on. <laughs> how, how is the common layman supposed to understand what you're saying? I tread a path unexplored. As far as I'm aware, the monastery supplies power to several major hive cities in, on Rykad. Hidden somewhere in the depths of this building is a reactor of monstrous, unfathomable, pow unfathomable power. Is it that big thing right there, or is, is it something even bigger? The world will bow. A mercifully quick electric shock was not what killed this cultist. His face is contorted in pain as if he was tortured. Gotta say, I'm not too happy about this place so far. You note that wire junctions are often marked with the symbol of a key that appears to connect two lines. Okay, a key that connects two lines. Maybe that's a clue. Some goods. I like goods. Sure, they won't mind if we take this stuff. There are no wounds on the heretic's body, but his face is contorted in terror, and his eyes are bloodshot from from ruptured vessels. I'm not satisfied with that answer. I will repeat my question again. The last electro priest you killed, where did you find him? <laughs> Burn in the fire of dawn! Servant of the cops! And another one meets the limit of his utility. The last of them. Dude, you are... Scary. <laughs> hey. The tall, dark-haired man sizes you up with a quick glance. A supernatural chill is making the air around him ca crackle softly. The expensive fabric of his jacket is stitched with gold thread and marked by several reddish-brown stains. A forced sword and a box hang from his belt, and the emblem of the Holy Inquisition glitters on his chest. Okay, he's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But, you know, I, I'm not jealous or anything. Seneschal, isn't, isn't this the chap we're supposed to find for the Lord Inquisitor? Interrogator Von Calix, I presume. The Emperor protects. Kneel and repent of your heresy before a rogue traitor, filthy sorcerer, that might spare your life. He was using chaos, wasn't he? Interrogator Von Kallax, I presume. Yes. <clears throat> Since you know who I am, and are in no hurry to kill me, I infer that you serve the Emperor, not his enemies. Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrichs van Kallox of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Shadow. A great big sun eclipsing chain weaving shadow. I can see the threads, myriads of them extending toward us all, and all of them creeping off toward him like snakes, shrouding us in poison. My oh my, do I sense trouble, and it's right in my throat. It itches. <laughs> I see he's uh scary to her too <laughs> Adira recoils from the interrogator as if scalded and starts swaying to and fro a puff of black smoke comes out of the psyker's mouth and dissipates at once oh jeez a psyker interesting and a diviner at that even more interesting are you sanctioned no she's not Heinrichs eyes Adira keenly D -d -d don't you inquisition me I'm under the rogue trader's protection. Adira looks at you pleadingly. Adira's predictions are seldom wrong. I will be watching you. Pay no attention. She talks all kinds of nonsense. Adira is a member of my personal retinue and is under my protection. Yeah, we don't want to come off as threatening to him. I mean, he's... Listen. I, I think we could have beaten these cultists ourselves. But probably not alone. So let's respect his power right now. 
until we know more about him. Plus, he serves the Emperor. We don't want to make any threats or anything like that. But she is a member of my personal retinue. Your retinue, you say? Then let's go back to my previous question. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? The interrogator rests his intent gaze on Adira for another moment before shifting it to you. Uh, did you not hear her? You got a, a hearing problem, buddy? I am Rogue Trader, Imogen Von Valancius. Von Valancius? To the best of my knowledge, that dynasty is headed by the esteemed Theodora Von Valancius. Has there been a change of circumstances? Heimrix watches your expression closely. I see you take no end of pleasure in your job. I barely introduce myself and I'm already being grilled. No, I mean, it's a fair question. Theodora is dead, slain in battle by enemies of humanity. Can this conversation wait for a better time? I'm here on the Lord Inquisitor's orders to see to his acolyte's safe and timely arrival on footfall. She's dead, slain in battle. The news is lamentable. My condolences. And I presume the heir to the sacred warrant of trade and the lofty title of rogue trader is none other than yourself. Well then, what precisely has brought you to the sanctum of the Omnissiah? I'm here to collect you. I'm under orders from the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require, after which I am to provide you safe passage to footfall aboard my ship. Point to the corpse. What did you do to him? Um, I want to say the first one. I am interested in where this goes, but I want to—I don't want to miss the opportunity of saying this one, so I'm here to collect you. <laughs> then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Henrix ruminates silently on what you have told him. Then he makes a hmm of satisfaction and says... <laughs> requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You are addressing a rogue trader. Abelard is left speechless for a moment. I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say, taking into inquisitorial custody. Hyrax casts an apprehensive glance at Ab Abelard. To aid his faithful servant in the fight against corruption is the solemn duty of all whose actions affect millions of the Imperium subjects. Let your example guide those who will carry the Emperor's light across a thousand stars. Your nose is a little brown there, Cassia. You are familiar with the works of Inquisitor Alastar the Redeemer. Not every acolyte can say the same, let alone people less initiated. Please forgive my lapse in manners, Lady Navigator Orcelio. It is a great honor. Hyrex arches an eyebrow, examining the coat of arms on Cassia's clothes. I came to Rykad Minoris on a mission, which a rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontents from among the rabble were the instigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried conversations with some of the rebels confirmed my suspicions. Iris glances at the dead body at his feet. Someone by the name of Aurora mm -hmm. is leading the rebellion. Heard of her. Data indicates that the head of the cultists is here right now, in the sanctum of the ancient reactor. Oh, really? Given the prophecy of the final dawn, and the especial efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery, their goal is to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn. Hmm. That's not good, is it? Blasphemous insanity. The tech priest's visor flashes and turns a bloody scarlet. A soft hum of some activ activating systems is heard from under his robe. Precisely what were you doing at the monastery? What did you do to him? This wretched planet's troubles are none of my concerns. I'm taking you to the ship. Now, I can help you with that war, right? Let's join forces. What did you do to him? I convinced him to cooperate. <sighs> I can influence living bodies, and I find that the interrogated are much more eager to share information once the blood starts to boil in their veins. Well, I know I would tell you anything you wanted to hear. Heimrix bows his head, cracks his neck, and grimaces. 
That includes untrue things, by the way. Precisely what were you doing at the monastery? I arrived here with an escort squad, only to lose it in our very first open skirmish. The monastery is swarming with heretics. The soldiers I requisitioned from the governor fell in battle, bled to death, or deserted. I had to make do with catching and forcefully interrogating individual rebels. It is from them that I learned what I relate to you just now. It's impressive you managed to hang on. Yeah, I can help you with Aurora. She's been a thorn on my side too, so I'm eager to put an end to her. Let's join forces. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils of this place. <sighs> And extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable than a group of soldiers fresh off the base. Well, we'll see. The interrogator glances at the limp body clad in the colors of the governor's wardens and sighs briefly. I am positive that not all of the electro priests within these walls have perished. The heretics spoke of shadows emerging from side alleys to make short work of the cultists invading their abode. I surmise that the entrance to their hiding place is somewhere in the hall near a machine known as the Circular Cogitator. I imagine it's one of the local sacred relics which the Electro Priests treat with special piety. I just realized <laughs> when he said it, I've still been saying Cogitator wrong, haven't I? Have I? I don't know. I'm. <laughs> Okay, so he's obviously going to stay in the party. Our first choice must be made now. Do we take Adira or Cassia? I suppose we could get rid of Argenta. But she's my trap expert, really. Without knowing what he's good at, it's hard to really say. But I feel like it's a it's a bigger risk losing our trap our disarmor than she does have her healing now but yeah I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go with this gleam of the final dawn interrogator von Kalix headed to the monastery of the adeptus mechanicus that guards the sacred Archaeotech reactor. <laughs> uh, according to Governor Medina, rebel forces have been spotted in the vicinity. The rogue trader needs to head to the region to assess the situation and locate the, the agent of the Inquisition. The Adeptus Mechanicus Monastery's defenses have been breached. Immediate intervention by the rogue trader is required. According to the acquired data, a sacred reactor is hidden in the depths of the temple complex captured by the rebels only protecting the relics controls control panels from the heretics will ensure its safety interrogator van calix thinks the priests are hiding somewhere near the circular cogitator find the surviving priests yep 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 okay we've done that all right we want to find uh armor nat too all right. I've seen a lot of innocent people. So I've yet to see someone remain so after an interrogation. That's because of your methods. Is that what you're supposed to look like? Can't. Uh... Hmm. Thought there was a way to like hide his his armor so you get that look. I guess he still looks cool. Oh, he's got a sword and oh, he's got the sword pistol combo. I do. I am a fan of that. All right, let's go ahead. Give you some grenades. I have an antidote too, just in case. Anything else? Yeah, we can go ahead and stack you up. Whenever the wearer kills an enemy in a one cell radius with a shot, they gain plus one resolve until the end of combat. When the wearer kills a target with an exploit using a single or or dead eye shot, the nearest enemy immediately gains one exploit. Okay, we'll go with this. Um, or do we want to do this? Depends on fellowship instead of intelligence. Alright, neither one of them are high, so it's fine. 
These are the only gloves we have, so you'll get this. I mean, again, yeah. And then boots using the charge ability costs one AP less. Why aren't you using these? Did I not have those yet? I might not have picked those up yet. Okay, so cloaks. Uh, when you use endure, what class are you? Can I see from here? You're you are a psyker, so I guess replacing you with a deer is, or replacing a deer with you is a decent choice. Grants fifteen percent armor against warp damage. All right, that sounds like a good one. All right, let's level you up. So he is a warrior. Okay. So potentially he will uh, take over Abelard's position. Hmm. His toughness isn't high. He seems to be more of a um, less of a tank and more of like a damage dealing one. Origin sanctioned psyker biomancer sounds like a healer. An Imperial world. Okay, I'm guessing. Oh, he's not anything. That's interesting. I thought for sure he'd be dogmatic. Features. Charge, endure, daring breach. Daring breach. Word of the Emperor. All allies in a circle with a, within a five cell radius gain one resolve until the end of combat. Every additional stack of this bonus or this effect increases the resolve bonus by two. And an iron arm. The target gains ten strength and toughness until the end of combat. Using that with Abelard could be really good, actually. Talents. Uh, let's see. Humanity's finest. What did you pick for that? Strength. Okay, okay. Biomancy. Biomancy focuses on manipulating living flesh and biological processes. Biomancers can heal wounds and alter physical characteristics. I like it. Okay, let's level you up. Got a lot of levels here. Talent and characteristics. So this is probably going to take the rest of the episode, knowing me. All right, so talents. Now, we do know uh, at least the warrior talents from Abelard, although these look already different. Epicenter of Slaughter. They gain one attack of Epicenter of Slaughter until the end of combat at the start of the turn. Regains one temporary wounds each stack. These temporary wounds cannot exceed three. Whenever the enemy attacks the warrior, the warrior's next melee attack against that enemy deals an additional three damage. Does not stack, but it can be reactivated. What is this three for? Toughness? Okay, so that's a toughness stat. This is toughness plus agility. If the warrior has less than 50% wounds, they gain critical hit chance. Enrage seems pretty good. Thick skin is good. A warrior deals an additional four damage to to enemies that have no allies in adjacent spell or cells. That is also an agility one. That one sounds good. All right, if we're gonna go damage with this guy, let's go damage with him. Um, we should go toughness just to give him that extra health. Okay, we're on the next one. So an ability and a skill. This has already got Endure. We could get Sworn Enemy. Yeah, we'll get Sworn Enemy. That's a good one. And... I think we're going to go Athletics. Abelard's Athletics are not is not bad. But... Well... I guess you are very knowledgeable of Xenos. Hmm... And warp. Although that's int. What's the strength ones? Athletics. Strength's gonna be his main thing, so let's go let's get athletics. Next up, characteristic and common talent. Right, so we've already got toughness up one. So we're gonna start putting them into strength now. And combat master. I could be really good. I also like these ones, but let's go down here. Okay, so we are going to have some new ones here. Like Stronger Together, that's the um, everybody gets the strength bonus of five. I do like those, but 
getting a Psy rating, but you need character level 10, so we can't get that one yet. Still mine, the Psyker's Resolve is increased by willpower divided by 2, while Veil Degradation is 10 or lower. Okay. Inscribed Soul gains the Inscribed Soul ability. It costs no AP, but deals direct damage to the Psyker equal to 20 from the Psyker's maximum wounds. Next Psychic Power used after this ability will not trigger Psychic Phenomena. Okay. Sacred Rituals. Psych Powers have a 25% chance to regain AP. You get AP spent on Psychic Powers. When Veil Degradation is 10 or lower. Okay. Blade of Light. Force Weapon Attacks deal 1 plus Psy Rating. More damage and have 5 or 10 times Psy Rating. Percent more Armor Penetration. Enforce Reality. Usages of Heroic Axe by the Psyker. Decrease Veil Degradation by 3. Psychic Barrage. Uses psych damaging psychic power on targets that are 6 cells or further from the Psyker. They suffer 3 more damage. Second Sight. Psychic powers that have a range of 2 cells or more have their range increased by 3. Stabilizing Factor. The first psychic power used each turn increases Veil Degradation by 2 points less. If this talent reduces the effect degradation to less than zero. It's just one. Okay. Subtle manipulation. The psychic power can use a damaging psychic power. The psychic can use a damaging psychic power while being threatened by enemies in melee range without provoking attacks of opportunity. Non-damaging psychic powers do not provoke attacks of opportunity even without this talent. Good to know. Obscure threat. A psychic is not in the target's line of sight or the psychic is in cover. All resistance tests of the psychic of the target suffer a Minus four plus four times side penalty. Adrenaline surge. On the first turn of every combat, all psychic powers of the biomancy discipline cost one AP less. Okay. Biophysical distortion. All the psychers' attacks, including attacking psychic powers, now poison enemies. This poison deals three or six times psi rating toxic damage at the start of each of the enemy's turns. That sounds really good. Sanguine Siphon. Every time the Psyker deals damage, they gain one stack of Sanguine Siphon effect. If that damage was dealt to a target adjacent to the Psyker, they gain two stacks instead. When the Psyker suffers lethal, lethal damage, the stacks of Sanguine Siphon are removed to reduce this damage by minus one for each stack until either all the stacks are removed or the damage is no longer lethal. Interesting. Confer immunity. Whenever the Psyker is healed or heals any ally, if the character be being healed is already at full of wounds, the character instead gains temporary wounds equal to the healing. These temporary wounds do not stack. That's pretty good. Corpus conversion. When an enemy adjacent to an ally dies, that ally gains stacking corpus conversion effect. If multiple allies are adjacent to the, in to the dead enemy, one is selected at random. The Psyker's next psychic power that targets only the target with corpus conversion will work as if the Psyker's psi rating is too higher. Will not degrade the veil, will not trigger psychic phenomena or perils of the warp, and will remove one stack of corpus conversion from the target. Okay. Pulse of life. Whenever the Psyker heals themselves or another character with a psychic power or an effect applied by a psychic power, this healing can critically heal with a chance of seven times willpower bonus. This critical heal chance is increased by all the effects that increase critical hit chance. And the amount of healing is increased by the same value as critical damage. Strange Vitality, we have seen this one before. Yeah. And Deterioration, whenever an effect applied by the Psyker increases the damage is suffered by a target, this effect is increased by half. Okay. I like this one. Although this does mean... No, I like this one, yeah. We're gonna grab that. Alright, next up, athletics again. Really need to pump the athletics up. And then... For this one... Where regains one damage deflection, that parry chance is increased by 25% of the total... Over the warrior's total armor. I feel like that is pretty useful. Yeah, just having that deflection is good. 
And then the parry chance is also good. Yeah, we'll get that. Keep him alive. Okay, so I already forgot what all these were for. Comes a priority target. Unit in, until the end of combat where gains 4 MP for each kill and may use the MP after attacking or using ability. So grants 10 movement points until the end of the turn. The warrior does not provoke attacks opportunity. This turn melee attacks deal an additional warrior's strength bonus divided by 2 damage. Alright, so that's what we're building up is our strength. So let's go for that. Alright, next up. Um, talent and characteristic. So another one of these. If there are no enemies adjacent... The warrior's damage is increased by two times the strength bonus for one melee attack. I kind of like that. The damage dealt by charge is increased by toughness bonus plus strength bonus. It's probably good too. Living shield? Nah. Ramming speed? Nah. Disarm? We're looking for strength stuff. Clinched teeth? No. Vigorating hatred? No. Hardened scars? No. Interception? No. Rigorous training? Charge and slash do not end the warrior's movement and grants a 10 plus agility bonus percent dodge for one round. That's not bad. Here we go. Area attacks deal an additional 1 plus strength bonus divided by 2 damage for each enemy in the area of effect. Hmm. Not really what I'm looking for. More toughness stuff. Wisdom. Wait, no. WS bonus. Weapon skill bonus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want... Where was it? Yeah, open engagement. Yep. And then here we'll go... Strength again. Then I'll put that up to 50. Alright, and then for these... Alright, here's where we get some of the... The stuff. Invigorating. Psyker's... Two times the Psyker Psy rating. Plus willpower bonus wounds to the target. So that would be, what's her willpower? Four. So five, so ten wounds to the target. If this ability brings that target to full wounds, this power also removes all stunned, bleeding, fatigued, blinded, immobilized, staggered, and fresh injury effects from the target. Yeah, that's what we're getting. Not even going to look at the rest of it. As cool as it could be. Some of it looks really cool, too. Oh, God. Purge soul. That sounds awesome. Look at the calculation here. Oh, my God. Get your order of operations out, guys. Uh, deals from 1 plus Psyker Psy rating plus 1 times resolve divided by 4 to 4 plus Psyker Psy rating plus 1 times resolve divided by 4 direct damage. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, I get it. This damage is increased by 50% after the Xenos, by 100% against Chaos Worshippers or Dr Drukari. Drukari? Are those the elves? Like the. Is that what they were? I can't remember. 150% against demons and 50% of the enemy has already damaged the Psyker or any Psyker abilities this combat. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go with this. And then another common talent. Okay, so we got that last time. Um... On the first turn of every combat, all psychic powers... Okay. I don't know if he has any good psychic powers for that, though. Is one of the problems there. So, I did like... We do want to get the Psy rating up, so we're just going to get that. I think the Psy rating is actually very important for these guys to become, like, really strong. He also starts with a Psy rating of zero. Interesting. wonder why. Why is his lower? Is it because he's a sanctioned psychicker? Or psychicker? Psyker? <laughs> Psychic. Um, for this one, can't get weapon skill anymore. Or strength anymore. Um, we'll go weapon skill then. And then a skill here. We can't go athletics anymore. So here we'll go Xenos. Apply. There we go. Okay, didn't take the whole episode, but took a big chunk of it. 
Tread carefully, rogue trader. Embrace true power. Are you threatening me? Okay, so now we gotta change the formation again. Uh, you go here. There we go, that's better. Alright, take this stuff. I'm glad I checked this door. I almost walked past it. The hard, uncomfortable, uh, somno meditation bed is equipped with neural ports to connect the sleeper to the monastery's uh, cogitator network. Powers unseen uncover my path. Got logic here. 100% chance. This exploratory is blessed with multifunctionality. Ooh, secret door. I like it. What do we got? We've got leather armor, medium armor, and we've got a charged staff. Okay, okay. I see you. So this leather armor, 30%, so similar to what I have, but I get the base armor property, 5% armor against human enemies. So it's just straight up better is what I'm seeing here, unless there's something here that I'm not seeing. No, so we want this for me. There we go. Looks a little different. Kind of like it. Um, and then we also got this weapon for you. So you're using this. Siphon's life. Well, it's kind of nice. Maybe that would be better for Adira. Yeah, you can't use it. I guess you're not a Psyker, even though you have some void abilities. Okay. What's this? A symbol for the Omnisaya is inscribed on the wall with grooves of electric discharge fanning out from its like f from it like a river. All right. What do we have the world going on up here? My feet. Your struggles are in vain. I'll turn you into corpse starch. Huh. Have we been ambushed? Shit. Alright. We need to get out of this, so. I guess we'll just fall back. <laughs> I did not expect it to kill me. I don't know why not, but... Um, okay, switch to your sniper rifle, please. I reject the very idea. Um, you can go ahead and do this. Go ahead and mark him. Oh, you're coming in... A long shot, buddy. Ow. This isn't a good start to our, uh... Journey here, is it? I wonder if you can get a shot off from over here. I have read tomes of military tactics. No. Alright, well, in that case... Go ahead. I Let him go again. Not a servitor. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Alright, so you have two. Go ahead and use a med kit on yourself. We function as one. And then take a shot at him. The the value. Very good. Uh, yeah, we'll probably want to do this on him too. Heinrich. Can you shoot him? Mm, doesn't look like it. I just back up. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Okay, I see. I see. That's kind of fun, though. 
All right, switch your weapons. I forgot you got this great sword now, too. Sorry I fucked you over, Argenta. I don't know what I was thinking would happen. Indeed. Good. Dodge, yeah, but I lost my cover now. Mm, go ahead and move up. We can probably get to this cover here. Fire at him. Good. Running gun. To here. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. And then dash to here. Ruin beckons. Oh shit. Okay. Well, you'll kill him for me, right? Get in there, Pasco. Thank you, sir. My resolve is unshaken. Ow. Ow! 20 damage. A little, a little much. A little much, if you ask me. Alright, go ahead and give this to Imogene. Let her go, too. Can you dash? Go ahead and dash up here. There he goes. He got a head start on that already. Take him out. God, she's so strong. I love it. Hide there. Go ahead and give him some hit points. Alright. I want to move you up. Don't I have healing? There you go. Have some healing. That did increase our, our stuff quite a bit. Go ahead and heal yourself. And then move up to here. My place is at the fall. Okay, did it kill the guy in the back? No, he's still way he's way back there. Okay, I see. Alright, Imogene, go ahead and take a I shot at him. Triumph. Almost killed him. Would have been nice if he did. I mean, no, no hard feelings or anything, but, you know. Twenty-five percent chance. There's always a shot. Ow! 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 All right. Don't want you going any further than this, because, you know. Give me strength. If only that were possible. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Mm -hmm. No chance you can get a grenade down there, right? No. This isn't gonna work either, right? At your beck and call. We didn't find it that hit. Oh, you know what I should have done? Damn it! I wasn't thinking. If I may. All right, move up. Uh, yeah, you can't shoot. Can't shoot. Go ahead and give him some healing. All right, and that's enough of that. Okay, you need to move here. Get in front of him. Heal him. Let's patch you up. Hmm. I guess move back here. Don't want to end in the ash, because, you know. Reasons. Take him out. I need no guidance. What a satisfying demise. Okay. Run and gun. I don't think we can uh, we can make it. I think we would have had to move the the previous time. That's good damage though. Now you could probably make it, but let's just take cover. 
We don't want to risk it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Um, hmm. Me. Go ahead and give it to him. If you insist, Lord Captain, I'm not accustomed to being ordered Oops. around. My bad. <laughs> Isn't this a job for the serfs? Oh, you can't reach him? Oh, no. Wrong button. So, no? Damn. Strong button. Kill him. I won't waste my time on that. Okay. No chance you can hit him. Oh. I must have been pressing the wrong button prior. How are you shooting through that? Cheating. That's what you're doing. Damn cheater. In I am a navigator, not a servitor. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I do insist. No, he could shoot me. Ain't fair. I will triumph. I need a foothold. All right, go ahead and move forward. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Victory is. You know what I should be aiming for? I should just be aiming for the cover. In fact. Can I do that right here? This is beneath me. Hmm. I reject the very idea. Damn it. I thought that would be good, but I need no more but that works. It's nothing. Get out of that. Will bow. From the ashes, I will rise. The emperor sets my path. Collect off. Get over here Onward. quickly. Okay, we're all together. We do have already a wound. In fact, we have quite a few wounds. Um, can I use this out of combat? There you go. She's already got two traumas, so that was not a good experience for her. Surprise, surprise. Wasn't a very good experience for me either. All right, as soon as that's gone, we're gonna move across. I said I called it when we saw the loading screen. We're gonna get hit by lightning at some point. My house would be proud of me. These dead heretics are suspiciously different from the others. The symbols on their clothes are drawn wrongly, and standard issue military uniforms show through the blasphemous tatters. So traitors. That's what you're saying and telling me here. Okay. Go ahead and unlock this. More med kits and grenades. Let's seize the opportunity. The bodies of careless cultists have been thoroughly fried by an arc of the motive force. Ah, uh, beautiful motive force. Oh God. A crowd of cultists has surrounded a tech priest crucified upon a mechanism. A rhythmic whisper repeated by a hundred voices blends into some blasphemous enchantment. Powerful discharges of the motive force run through the machine, causing the unfortunate prisoner's body to convulse brutally and forcing woeful cries of pain from his lips. Tortured tech priest. The tech priest's hoarse voice echoes under the ceilings. In this clenched claw of stagnation, in the shackles of iteration zero, under the iron wing, let the cycle 
be continued. Pascal's mechan mech mech mechadendrites spring into combat mode instantly, and a wrathful rattle comes from his vox. I'm registering a se severe violation of purity protocol. The blessed Amarnet has been captured by heretics and is being tortured. Are you sure he's Amarnet? Look around the hall. How is he bearing this torture? We must save the esteemed tech priest without risking his life. Then let's kill them all. Are you sure? Confirmed. Do not observe his face, but I recognize his words. Let the cycle be discontinued. Is the blessed Amar Amarnet's motto. Look around the hall. The heretics have taken up position everywhere, and many more are doubtlessly hiding in passages leading out of the hall. For now, they are all focused on the sacrilegious torture of the tech priest and do not notice you. How is he bearing this torture? A devotee of the Omnisai is capable of withstanding great bodily torment with no loss of functionality. But where, fresh, where, but where flesh reinforced with sacred iron will preserve, the purity of spirit, spirit might perish. I hypothesize that the heretics have made the blessing, made the blessed Amarnat a participant in some variety of sacrilegious ritual. Through sacrilegious torture, they are trying to break his will and turn him into an unholy terminal with which to control the reactor's outer power circuit system. The tech priest's colors are stained with grime. They are diluted, painted over with rot, and yet his heart still holds a cinder of bright red. This dying flame can be ignited anew. We must save them, but not risk his life. The, mechan the mechadendrite points to the corpses of heretics lying nearby. We can use the blas blasphemer's clothing as a disguise. Unrecognized, we can sabotage the power units, overloading them and thus cleansing the hall of heretics. The, lighting the lightning discharges have charred the cultist's corpse. Whiffs of smoke rise from their empty eye sockets, whose contents have evaporated. Their clothes, covered in blood of innocent, the blood of innocence, are crudely painted over with the emblems of the archenemy, which exude a repulsive air of soul, of soul decay. I shudder with disgust at the mere, mere thought of having to touch clothing adorned with the unholy symbols, let alone wear it. This is the first step toward falling, a small compromise with evil will, that will lead to something greater. Is there truly no other way, rogue trader? The signs of the arch enemy are not just painted symbols, but conductors of its will. The words of their prayers even spoken without faith, their coats of arms even deceitfully worn. All this increases the presence of the ruinous powers near you and draws their corrupting attention to you. Cassia stares in horror at the corrupted clothes and the scattered human ashes. D do not make me... What is the essence of your plan? You would disgrace yourself by donning these tainted rags? You do realize this plan sounds like suicide. If it helps save a worthy man, I will put on the cultist's robes. Heretical laugh. I'm actually curious to know what it's like to walk in heretic's, clo in heretic's shoes. I will not allow corruption to touch you. We will, we will vest ourselves in faith and kill every last traitor to the golden throne. Are you suggesting we pass on the chance to kill them all without, with our own hands? Forget it. I'm not missing out on the fun. You would disgrace yourself by donning these tainted rags? Pascal deadpans. The only unbearable disgrace is that of a duty unfulfilled. The rest is merely spiritual attrition. What is the essence of your plan? Uttering a litany of... Uttering a litany of... Act, actu, actuation for the power units from the Lumino Deacons command throne will di I sound like an idiot <laughs> will direct the motive force created by the blessed reactor into the hall the distribution servitor is keeping its output its output within the set of parameters but upon receiving an order to increase it to peak values it will turn this place into an electric trap say like, what is the reading level of this game my god <laughs> What's my reading level? I guess is the the bigger question. The safety system protecting the hall is controlled from the machine altar, which must be disabled. 
If all these operations are performed, I can guarantee that not a single blasphemer will survive the Omnissiah's raft, wrath that will be unleashed upon this place. Ooh, okay, this is kind of like our first big choice, I feel like. What would Imogene do? So she let's let's channel our inner warrior queen, warrior king. It doesn't really matter. Uh who's all about honor and the and the fight itself. Well, I guess that kind of answers it, doesn't it? She wants to fight, right? She's like an Amazonian warrior, queen, all that stuff, right? So she's not going to shy away from a fight, even though this one looks pretty impossible. But the fact that three of our our companions, all but Abelard, are like, and of course Pascal, are like, I don't know about this. I don't want to touch that stuff. And they're like, oh, it's going to lead us down to the path of evil wearing their clothes. You are what you wear, so they say. So, we're going to go with the dogmatic one. I will not allow corruption to touch you. We will vest ourselves in faith and kill every last traitor to the Golden Throne. Another desperate scream rends the air. So be it. May the Omnissiah protect the blessed Am Amarnat in the coming battle. Death to the blasphemers. Kill all the heretics. The group of heretics guarding the captured tech priest must be eliminated to rescue him. Yeah, that's true. Um, before we go that way, uh, the episode is getting a little late, so I don't want to start that fight yet. We did miss a path back here, so let's go. I'm not going to risk going through here. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, we missed this over here. The athletics test. There. And here we've got multi-key and a plasma weapon. A plasma pistol. I don't think... Well, we want the multi-key. No, this goes. No, you get over there. Damn it. There we go. Not that we really need the multi-key anymore, but... Operation successful. A multitude of symbols are carved into the enormous generator. You realize they are the foundational tenets of the Electro Priest religion. Standing out amongst them, or among them, is the triumph of reason over all other facets of human nature. Yeah. Is, did it, isn't there, wasn't there a path on the other side of the entrance, too? The Inquisition taught me many things. Intriguing. I think we can make it. Whew, that was close. Wasn't that close, but it was close enough for me to be nervous. Yeah, there's a path over here we didn't take. Powers unseen uncover my path. The cultists were killed with a hit to the back from some kind of electro weapon. Or electric weapon. A desk here. On the maladies of machine spirits and the ways of diagnost diagnostic divina divination. Like I thought that looked like a door. Mummified Electro Priest. A tech priest's body rests on a metal table, surrounded by sparking spirals of copper coil. A patina of sacred un un unguents covers his withered flesh. His augmetics have been polished with great care. Intricate electro Electus cover the dead man's crossed arms and bare torso, and strands of wire envelop his head. Augmetics, a mechanical or electronic cybernetic substitute for biological limb or organ. So a prosthetic. Okay. Pascal respectfully bows his head before the dead man and carefully touches the shriveled body with the tip of his mechadendrite. Honored adherent, I thank you for showing us the truth of Fabricator General. Pekrovar's maxim. Death does not come or does not end the service of a spirit driven. Let's go ahead and examine the body. The body seems motionless, but you notice slight tremors in the fingertips. The ancient servant of the Omnissiah must be data dreaming. 
His mind, enveloped in digital reverie, can persist for hundreds or thousands of years while his frail body is decaying. This sacred state of trance is a great reward only earned by the wisest and most pious servants of the machine god. That sounds pretty cool. Such purity of color. I've never seen anything like it. Deep tranquility shrouded in a cool white cloud. Such unity of thought and spirit. The dead are incapable of exuding such hues. Next to the table the body is resting on, you see small amulets crafted from burned cogitator circuit boards. There's no dust on these small offerings. They were clearly left here recently. Can you hear me, Tech Priest? The light in the crypt becomes a little brighter and sharper, and the smell of ozone fills the air. Mummified text or Electro Priest. The vox on the ceiling comes alive and lets forth a solemn Benharic aria that turns into a crackling, somnolent, somnolent voice. I don't know how to, I don't know what that voice sounds like. In this dark hour, I am ready to bring you good tidings, tech brethren. Now respond with the words of the second galvanic hymn. The second galvanic hymn is a revered and miraculous prayer of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Naturally, you know it very well. Naturally. Maybe I'm a follower of the machine god, I don't know. Let us praise the twin charges, the body electric, and the omnissiah who lights the spark of reason within us. And let us carry his charge to those who have turned their minds toward his light. Yeah, let's go with that. The other one's saying is being rude. Let it be so indeed. Who or what are you? The monastery is under attack by heretics. Can you help? The cultists might get to him. That is undesirable. I shall trouble you no more. Who or what are you? The Vox voice grows louder. Praetor Electroid... Dar Impulse the Second, by the will of the Omnissiah, the prior of this monastery, and the guardian of the miraculous fusion reactor, now and ever world without end. I messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> Here in this cell of mine, I have conquered death. My mind has soared through the Omnissiah in a blessed data dream. My body is decaying, but my spirit will remain by my master's side. For I am the sacred sentinel of the code, the guardian of the sacred relic, and the eye that watches over the right of operation. What's data dreaming like? I am one with the motive force, and, in op and it opens my mind to the sacred impulses of knowledge. My reason has come, become as fast as the flying electron and the ray of light, and time is no more for me. For I am eternal, and my Benharic reverie I comprehend the wisdom of the machine god and share it with the humble priests who come to my cell, thirsting for my knowledge. Can you help us? In my data dream I saw their unholy requests and rejected them angrily, for it is said in the fourth article of security, no unbeliever's hand shall intrude upon the operation cycle. They have seditious designs on the relic, but should I give you? who does not belong to our faith and fellowship my blessing to stand up to the blasphemers. I may not be a member of your priesthood, but you and I are of the same faith. Would you prefer to wait until they give their dirt, get their dirty hands inside your sacred reactor? Do you have any idea what that will do? So that's a 20%. This is 100%. This is what I was going for anyway. Persuade. This statement is true. The first article of security says... Fear above all evils, the defilement of knowledge. Oh, okay, I see. I, I didn't understand. Fear above all evil, the defilement of knowledge. And its command outweighs the prohibition contained in the sixth article of security. Let knowledge be locked away from the ignorant. So be it. In the name of shaming the unbelievers, I grant you the blessing of special access and protection from the rage of the motive force. Dry cracking sounds come from inside the crypt's walls as awakened cogitators process the ancient tech priest's command. Does that mean I wouldn't be hit by the lightning in that? Because that would have been useful. I bet that is. Praetor Electroid Dar Impulse II's blessing is a promise of protection from the fury of motive forces. 
Gives three deflection and 50% armor against shock damage. Okay, so it doesn't actually super protect I you. Tread a path unexplored. Oh, this one's a door too. Another one. The moment if I tech priest rests on the table, enveloped in wires. Okay, he's not. He's not a cool one. Let's see okay, that's fair. Opportunity. All right, so what's that in this direction? Oh hi. You shall be purified by motive force, blasphemer. Your existence is not but ashes. What does that say? The circular cogitator, the electric priest's hiding place, must be nearby. Wait, I actually have to fight him? Wait, we're we're friends, we're allies. Don't do this. Hmm. Not really sure. Should I attack him? I guess I need to. I didn't really want to get into a fight, though. I guess we need to finish this quickly, huh? Easier said than done. Tribute. Ruin beckons. I will not stoop to this. One step. Maybe we need to get that combat addict trait. <laughs> that seems to fit me pretty well. Hmm. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. Ah. Uh, I'll do it. Can do it again. We get right here. I will bathe this. Oh no, we can't. Damn it. Righteous fury. Then you miss. Useless. I shall repay your strike, shan't I? Alright. You can come up and attack him. But of course. I should have done sworn enemy. Uh, that was my bad. Alright, you're gonna switch to your greatsword. Dash to him. It will be done. Damn it! How are these people dodging me? Ain't right. Parried me? We'll take this. Okay, I can't hit anything. To be honest, I thought these guys would be easy to kill, but... Or not easy to kill, but... I thought they'd, uh, talk to me. But I guess they're pretty upset. I suppose I understand that. Let's go ahead... Give him another round. To kill this guy. There we go. And you're gonna shoot him? Good damage. Pascal. Any of these gonna be good for this? Could do that. That was good. Let's go ahead and buff. Alright, Imogene. Take them out. I need no death shall reign. And then them. Demise. Kill him. Come on, girl. You gotta... You gotta kill. Get right here. Fire. I won't object. Got him. Alright, that wasn't so bad. That was actually pretty easy. World will bow. So I'll take it. No loot on them, though. Could I have clicked this and they would have been like, oh, we won't fight you? The machine altar is operational, but will only respond to a special command that you do not know. To make that machine spirit, to make this machine spirit do your bidding, you have to know this correct prayer. The sentinel will ask for a password. Hmm. 
maybe we have to go through this door here. There are the gunners. Okay. I think that's, uh, before we get into another fight, that's a good spot to end the episode. Next one, we'll continue exploring the Sanctum and hopefully save the uh, head priest there. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Now, I'll catch you later.